Hello and welcome to Thought for June the 28th. Our readings are 1 Samuel chapter 9, Isaiah chapter 53, and Revelation chapters 15 and 16. And our thought is, it is what they deserve. Behind every significant event in history has been the will of the Lord, bringing about things that are good or things that are bad, more often the latter. This is even sometimes the case with seemingly insignificant events. In our reading of 1 Samuel chapter 9, donkeys belonging to a Benjamite became lost, and the owner's son Saul is sent to look for them, and in the end he chances to meet up with Samuel. Before Saul came, the Lord had revealed to Samuel, in verse 15, that Saul would come, and you shall anoint him to be prince over my people Israel we read in verse 16. Despite God's displeasure with them, they never ceased to be his people. And so it has been throughout history. The chapter ends with Samuel taking Saul aside, saying, Stop here yourself for a while, that I may make known to you the word of God. Today we have the written word of God. How often do we prayerfully turn aside to absorb its message in its fullness as a lamp shining in a dark place until the day dawns, as Peter 1, 1 Peter chapter 1, verse 19 says. This world is a dark place, and it's getting darker every day. How remarkable is the 53rd chapter of in Isaiah, clearly a forecast of life and death of our Lord, so that many in recent generations had become convinced It must have been added during or after the time of Christ. But when the Dead Sea Scrolls were discovered, they were silenced. The chapter starts, Who has believed what they heard? And that is still the question. Who believes what was written and has been preserved and now made available in every language? Our last reading today, Revelation, is about seven plagues. The last for them, the wrath of God is finished, we read in chapter 15, verse 1. An angel is heard to say, Just are you, O Holy One, who is and who was, for you brought these judgments. It is what they deserve. Chapter 16, verses 5 and 6. We read of demonic spirits who go abroad to the kings or the leaders of the whole world to assemble them for battle on the great day of God Almighty, verse 14. And they assembled them at the place that in the Hebrew is called Armageddon, verse 16. Christ is returning without warning, like a thief, we read in verse 15. The word Armageddon has fascinated people, especially movie makers in recent years. In their inner being, many sense disaster is looming. As in the days of Samuel, God arranged for the people to have what they wanted and deserved, and so our world will get what it deserves, and the cities of the nations fell, to make them drain the cup of the wine of the fury of his wrath, we read in verse 19. How frightening. Look back on our recent thoughts. Remember to whom it was said, I will keep you from the hour of trial, that is coming on the whole world. Well, thank you once again for joining us for Thought for the Day, where together we can open up the pages of God's Word, knowing that Word to be a lamp to our feet and a light to our path.